Hey guys, Novak here. I'm gonna do some fishing up in the mountains this weekend, a little bit of trolling and probably mainly bait fishing, but I figured I'll make some flashers and I'll show you guys how I do it. So you will need some crimps, some wire cutters, faceted beads. And I like to use a faceted because if you see on a lot of flashers, they have these faceted beads rather than round because it creates a clicking sound on all of your blades and you will need some clevises, leader sleeves, lock snaps, trolling swivels. And that's really it. Now, I will walk you guys through. Let me set my camera up. Set it up in the slot, here we go. So, these are gonna be small, so I'm just gonna cut, you know, 16 inches, cut extra just to be safe. Put that to the side. And next thing you'll do is grab a trolling swivel. And this may be the wrong way, but I do the pointy side where the water's gonna direction. The water flows this way, so the little bevel is that way. So, you uh, loop that on there. Grab a little leader sleeve. It's a little time consuming, so I'll try to edit out some of the boring stuff best I can. You loop that on there just like that. And then you grab your crimpies. Crimp that guy on nice and tight. So that's the first step. Now we pick our uh, blades. I'm going to use these little willows, or these are actually Colorados, I think. So you want to grab some beads. We'll pick a color. Let's go with, uh, I'm going to do some little red guys, little red faceted beads. So next thing you do, thread that little bead on there and cut that frayed end. Slide the bead. Grab your little clevis, might be kind of hard to see. Throw that guy on there. And it's important to put this on correctly. You have the wire going on the face of the uh i keep wanting to call it a spoon of the blade so it goes this way that way when it hangs it hangs correctly like this so you have one bead your clevis your your blade and then another bead so it'll look just like that right now it's still free moving and you determine your length um, a lot of them come about a four inch offset from the top. I kind of like to shorten it up. I don't know what that gap is for right here, but I like to shorten it up a little bit just to keep it shorter. So I'll grab another leader sleeve, little baby guy. Slide that on there. Try to make these as fast as possible. Don't want to bore you guys to death. And pick a length, whatever you want. I'll go a couple inches, crimp it tight. Squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Perfect. So there's your first blade. Okay, now you repeat the process. Very simple. You get your bead. Your uh, thing, you know what it's called, the, uh, the blade. Hook the clevis on just like that. Slide it on to the face of the clevis, just like we talked about. Okay, one step closer, then another bead, and then another leader sleeve. 
So now I determine the length of this one again. Sometimes I use my tape measure, sometimes I eyeball it. Um, these are my dad, so I'll just eyeball it. I gotta skunk him somehow because he's out fishing me lately. So uh, I'm gonna make that, you know, you can slide it up and down, kind of whatever looks good. I'll go with uh, I don't know, four inches, something like that. Crimp it on there, nice and tight. You now have two blades and the next one you'll have a little further back than the last one not sure why but that's how all the other ones are made I ain't no scientist or nothing so slide on your bead grab your blade clevis feed it into the face of the blade. Oh, see, there you go, I dropped it. Okay. Slide that on there. And then one more bead. Okay, now there's your third uh, thing, whatever it's called. Okay, you're gonna grab your leader sleeve. This is the part that I usually screw them up, so you gotta be careful here. So determine how you want the spacing. We'll say we want this. Now we have this excess. I'll cut off and leave maybe an inch and a half. Grab your trolling swivel. Slide that jalopy on there. Looks good. Feed it in there, just like the last one. Crimp it. Nice and tight. <clears throat> there you have it folks you got some nice swivel, nice uh, flashes you don't have to spend a million dollars at the grocery store fishing store whatever it is and then on the end of them you can put some dual lock snaps and this just makes it quick when you want to switch out your line or switch out different flashers, whatever it is. And then you throw this guy on there. Got that one on the top. Throw that one on the bottom. And there they are. The little mini flashers. That's it. It took uh, eight minutes. And that's it. So if you guys uh, have any questions on this, on material or whatever it is, just uh, shoot me a comment. Glad to help. And hopefully these will catch me a fish this weekend. We will see. You guys have a good day. And I hope you like the flashers. If you want to buy